What's up, YouTube? This your boy, Mr. Sinister, the trucker. Welcome to the Road Warrior Truck Show. Today episode is about the air brake procedure being performed in the Class A combination vehicle. Now, when I did this video, I had my Class A permit at the time, and the reason I started taking lessons here in New York City at a local driving school, because uh, my permit was about to expire, so I didn't want to lose all my endorsements, because, you know, I got doubles and triples, tanker, hazmat, combination, I got school bus, I got passengers, so I didn't want to lose all that. Anyway, um, so this was a video of me doing the air brake procedure for a combination vehicle I recorded from my phone while I was at the driving school here in the city, so check it out. I hope it helps everybody else out that's going for their Class A and their air brakes for a combination vehicle, so check it out. Okay, so we down test. The pressure up to 120 psi. Running the rim out of 15 RPM. Should be here then. What I would do next is I'm going to put the truck in second gear, step down on the clutch, put the truck in second gear. Truck in second gear. I'm trying to, try, I'm trying to engine off. Make sure that the key's on so your warning devices, lights can be on for the next test. Then I'm going to release the tractor and the trailer brakes, and then I'm going to hold the foot brake for one full minute. And we shouldn't lose no more than four PSIs within that one minute. Okay, let's say that, let's say that was a one... A one minute, one full minute, you shouldn't lose no more than four PSIs within that one minute. The next test is your warning device test, which I'm going to pump the pressure out of this system. Uh, before the PSIs drop below 60 PSIs, the warning device will come on. So I'm going to pump the pressure out of the, out of the brake system. My brake pressure light came on. I'm going to continue to pump the pressure out of the system. Um, when the pressure reached between 20 to 45 PSI, the automatic spring brake should come on, which is your tractor and your trailer brake. I'm going to pump the pressure out of the system. And watch the knob pop. Spring brakes is working. Next test is you want to put the, the clutch back into a safe start, so push the clutch in, put it in neutral, turn the truck back on. You can hold your, you can step on the accelerator to build the pressure up. In the meanwhile, we're going to have you do the inside cab inspection, which you start with your horn. Check your windshield wipers. Go check the defrosters and make sure you put your hand up here. I got my fire extinguisher over my seat, my three reflective triangles, and my first aid kit. Then I'm going to go here and I'm going to start with my temperature gauge, my oil gauge, my RPM, my NPH, my fuel gauge, my battery gauge, and my air pressure gauge. The higher the truck is closer. The weight of the vehicle is 29,000 pounds. Uh, you can also check your air horn. That's good. Uh, the next step is going to be weight check, which is I'm going to check my trailer brake, then my tractor brake, then my hand brake, then the service brake. Once the pressure reaches 120 
PSIs. If you open the accelerator or um, when the letter is uh, around, when that 1500 RPM, you build the pressure up. But that's the cutout. Now I'm gonna put, I'll put my foot on the brake, push my clutch down, put the truck to second. So second, I'm gonna push in my traction now to test my trailer, my trailer brakes. Take my foot off the brake. I'm gonna ease up off the clutch. You should feel a slight pull against the trailer. Trailer brakes working. Now I'm gonna test my tractor brakes. Up off the clutch a little easy. Tractor brakes is working. Next brake I'm gonna check is my hand brakes. I'm gonna push in my tractor and my trailer brakes and push and pull down my hand brake. I'm gonna let up off the clutch. So I pull a slight pull. Tractor brakes is um, hand brakes is working. Then the next test is my service brake. I'm going to let the truck roll forward five miles, five miles per hour, and then I'm going to press down on the brake pedal, and that will be the service brake check. So we're going to roll forward. Let it roll, let it roll, let it roll, let it roll. So his brake is working. And after that, we're going to start the driving. 